more to the broader picture because uh, I think you you mentioned rightfully so that this could happen anywhere. Um, so from your work and research, what what is that current gap in or, overall like power grid infrastructure investment that is lacking to help us meet these this new reality that that we're facing? We need to make the system uh, stronger, smarter, and more secure. So lessons we have learned so far include that. And when, when, when we look at the overall North American interconnection, especially the United States, the lower 48, uh, the Electric Power Research Institute, myself and others have done the analysis of this. And to make the backbone stronger, we have about 450,000 miles of high voltage lines. Some of it is along the Canadian border, which is heavily populated with the northern part of our nation, but the rest of it is the 48. We got to spend, we got to increase those 450,000 miles by another 42,000 miles, by about 9%. Every mile is 2 million plus. So for 42,000 miles added, mostly DC, by the way, original vision of Thomas Edison, except he wanted DC in microgrids. And we get to that. We need both stronger as a nation, as a North American interconnection, to also be able to wield power, to bring power during emergencies from elsewhere. Make it stronger. That's going to cost just stronger backbone is about $84 billion dollars at least $84 billion stronger backbone retrofitting to make it smarter and more resilient and more secure, almost the same, not quite the same technology we put in damage resilient aircraft or squadrons that if an aircraft two, three go down, the rest of it can carry out the mission. That's where I learned many of these ideas of self-healing, resiliency and so on. And I tried to move it since 97 to the utility sector and other critical infrastructure. That part will cost about 17 to $25 billion a year uh, for about 20 years. It can be shortened to five years or less if we increase the amount and the velocity, the direction and speed of investment in that. The good news is for every dollar that has gone in smart grid in all the states in the union, it has generated 2.7 to $6 in economic growth, jobs, et cetera. For the stronger grid, those uh, uh, 42,000 miles I mentioned, we need to add, that would create between 211,000 jobs to 214,000 jobs, well-paying jobs. And these are almost like the same vision that created Tennessee Valley Authority, Bonneville Power Administration, but at a grand national scale. 